the cornerback on where it was supposed to be. Kirksey is over there too, but we have an injured player. Or set, I think. So he got hit at the 10-yard line. 32-yard gain down to the 10-yard line. It will be first and goal with a minute 22 left. I think there were a couple Browns that ran into one another inside. That's why it was so wide open. My goodness, they have just moved the ball down the field, and they've done it with the run and a short pass to Forsett. Hoyer missed a tackle. An injured player inside a few minutes. The clock running requires a timeout. have one timeout left, but Doug, they're at the 10-yard line now, and it's first and goal at the 10. So use check the fullback checks in, and Jabaris Allen, the rookie running back, checks in with four set being tended to over on the Ravens bench after he got injured on that scamper on the catch in the right flat down to the 10-yard line. And the Browns need a defensive play here. Marlon Brown goes out wide left with Aiken. Nick Boyles, the tight end on the right side. It's an offset eye, shifted right. You check the fullback, Allen the tailback. Here's Flacco on first and goal. Gives the ball to Allen with a cutback to the 10. He's to the 5, and he is scored down at the 4-yard line. But he got 6 yards. Hoyer comes in to make the tackle. Helped out of the play by Whitner. It is second and goal. Baltimore at the 4. They just overran it down inside. Now we're down to a minute left to go in the game. 30 to 27, the Browns lead, but it's second and goal at the four. Juszczyk is late getting back into the Baltimore huddle. Play clock is at 15. They have plenty of time to get it off, though. Juszczyk will go out off the line of scrimmage to the left, along with Boyle. Marlon Brown and Aiken are off the line to the right. The running back is Allen. Flacco gives it to Allen, running left side, and he got nailed back at the five-yard line. Kirksey got over there on the corner to make the play. He got some help over there on the corner, too, as the Browns finally read that one and got over there. So they're back at the five-yard line. Armani Bryant was the other tackler. And with 34 seconds left, time is stopped. Here's the call. Timeout. Cleveland. Cleveland calls the timeout, and the Browns are down to two timeouts remaining. And it's third down and goal at the five. This is the play. This, this is, is the it. play. Yeah, this is it. But if you stop them, they'll kick the field goal, and we'll probably be looking at overtime. The Browns on the day have 408 yards of offense. Set the game clock to 35 seconds, please. They're going to add a second. It's at 34, so they'll add one. All right. The Ravens 377 yards, but the Ravens have 181 yards rushing. Current nine plays, 75 yards. They're five yards away from taking the lead as the Ravens come up third and goal at the five. One running back in the backfield. Here's Flacco, bootleg out to the right with a rusher coming in his face. He throws the ball into the end zone. Aiken caught it, but he's out of bounds. Incomplete. Desir was on the coverage, but they had a great rusher in the face of Flacco. As Nate Orchard got in there and was right there on Flacco, and he had to throw the ball falling back. So here comes Justin Tucker in to attempt to tie the game up. And this is, for him, a chip shot. This would be a 23-yard field goal attempt with 29 seconds left to go in regulation time to tie the game as the Browns right now lead by three. Nice, to hold. It. Tucker missed yeah. one earlier in the game, but that was from 51 yards away. Snap is back. Ball down. The kick is up. And the kick is good as he bullets one right through oh, and into the netting behind the goalpost. It's all tied with 25 seconds left to go. 30 to 30. Well, when it was first and goal at the 10, the Ravens had to be thinking, we're going to win this thing in regulation time. We're going to score. And the Browns found three good plays defensively to shut that down and force the field goal. Now, the Browns will have two timeouts left with 25 seconds to go in the game. Yeah, but you got to be careful. You don't want to turn the ball over at this point. Both teams huddle up around their special team coaches. Two great special team coordinators. Oh, yeah. Chris Tabor for the Browns and Jerry Rushford, who really cut his teeth in the NFL with the Browns and has had a great run here in Baltimore with the Ravens. Well, your return will give you an idea of what you're going to do. I mean, if you get it out pretty far, then you're going to take some shots. But if you don't get it out, you have to start the 20. 
game tied at 30. The Ravens once led in the second half 21-9. The Browns have had two leads after that, but have been unable to hold on to them right now. Defensively, giving up drives that led to a touchdown and a field goal, and we're tied. Now the Browns' offense on the other side has been red hot. Tucker runs up and kicks the ball. End over end. It's going to go over Gilbert's head and out of the end zone as Tucker drilled that one. And it's a touchback, and the ball will come out to the 20-yard line. And as Doug mentions now, you must be careful down here. And what you might do is max up, take one shot down the field. Probably Benjamin try to get him isolated one-on-one. -on -one. Speed. I mean, you've got guys that can get behind the secondary. Benjamin being one. Gabriel has gotten behind the secondary today. Hartline and Gabriel and a tight end go out wide to the right. Benjamin near side, wide to left. Duke Jackson in the backfield. 25 seconds left in regulation time. McCown back. Steps up. Throws. And ooh, he threw it out the left flat. And C.J. Mosley had Duke Johnson measured up at the 20. And that was dangerous. It's incomplete. 21 seconds left. All right, tried to run him off with Benjamin, tried to get something underneath, get a big gainer. So the Browns now huddle up. They're at their own 20 yards. 21 seconds left. They have two timeouts. Out they come, Hartline and Hawkins and Barnage were up on the far side of the field, wide right. Benjamin with all that speed. The rabbit is below us on the left. Duke Johnson in the shotgun with McCow. Back on second down. Steps up. Looks. Throws. Benjamin's open. At the 40. At the 45. And he spins into the Ravens sideline with 14 seconds left. Over the 45 at the 46-yard line. Well, one more big chunk play like that, and you might have a shot. 14 seconds left. 26 yards on the catch. He looked at Duke Johnson, but then he looked down the field and said, ah, there's Benjamin. And it was a good decision. They marked the ball out at the Cleveland 45 yard line. Hard line goes out with Hawkins and Barnage out wide to the right. Benjamin near side wide left. Duke Johnson in the shotgun with McCown with 14 seconds left. First and 10. McCown up in the pocket. He rolls right. Still rolling. Still rolling. Looking for help. And he's going to get hit and knocked into the sideline. Knocked out by Terrence Brooks with six seconds left in regulation time. He got a yard to the 46. And it would be second down and nine. Nobody could get free, huh? No, nobody could get free. I mean, they had everybody wired down the field. McCown is thrown for over 400 yards in the afternoon, 405. Ball is at the 46-yard line of the Browns. Six seconds to go. In regulation time, the game is tied at 30. And the Browns come out. Hartline, Barnage, Gabriel, near side, wide to the left. Benjamin, wide right. Duke Johnson beside McCown in the shotgun. He's back to pass. Steps up. Looks. Looks. Fires. And Benjamin caught it at the 35, but there's no time left. He caught it at the 35 and went down. But time has run out, and we're going to overtime. Boy, from there, if they had had a tick left on the clock, it would have been about a 52-yard field goal attempt by Coons to become an instant Cleveland hero. Yeah. <laughs> made it, though. 19 yeah, yard game. So I think the key down was the first down play when McCon couldn't find anybody, and not only did he ramble and run around, but he lost some time. Yeah. They only had six seconds left. Benjamin caught the ball down at the 35-yard line, but there was nothing left. So, overtime. Here's the story of overtime. They'll explain it on the coin toss. The first possession, whoever gets the ball first, if they go down, take it and score a touchdown, game over. If they go down, kick a field goal, the opposing team still gets a possession and can tie the game. If the first team that gets the ball goes down and doesn't do anything and punts the ball to the other All team, right, then it's...